Hello class, good day. Uh, welcome to our subject, Engineering Economy. Welcome to Module 2. Today, we'll talk about annuity. Ito na class, no? So, this is the interesting part of Engineering Economy. So, we'll talk about cash flows. Literal. No? We will be solving it and hope you will find time to appreciate the beauty in the chaos. Okay, so let's start. So... Let's define first what is annuity or what are cash flows. So the diagram that involves a series of uniform receipts, each amount of A uh, occurring at the end of each period of, or N periods with an interest period I. The uniform series is called annuity. So we have the following. Uh, from A, we can derive the present worth, uh, one interest period, future worth at the future after periods uh, after P, and then annual worth occurs at the end of periods 1 to N. And um, kailangan lang natin maalala dito, dito class, no? These three, uh, three things. It's better uh, makita natin sa formula. And madali na makintindihan. When you talk about annual worth, uh, annually, annual, uh, ano magkano, kunyari, ah, um, nagde-deposit ka buwan-buwan or taon-taon, uh, di ba? Pag gusto mong makaipon, pero kang retirement for your future worth, yun yun. And present worth, kung ano yung, let's say, babayaran mo, then magkakaroon siya ng interest for a, a matter of time. Present, a, a given A, given P, you will have A. Pwede rin yun. So, tingnan natin sa figure. So, this is our sample cash flow. Sabi nga natin, annual worth. Ito yung annuities. Uh, Annual worth, A or A, uh, ito yun, mga ito. Yan, no? so, interest period, N. Yan. Uniform amounts of A. So, you can predict F, the future worth, given A. At the same time, you can predict uh, predict F, given the present worth, no? kahit wala ka ng A. So, for example, uh, ano yung mga problem finding F given A? So, A multiplied by this factor, yung ito yung formula. Sa so ngayon, class, gagawin muna natin yung long method para makita natin uh, paano nga ba ginagamit itong mga formula na yan. Okay? So, finding F given A. Let's say, uh, naguhulog ka taon-taon ng 10,000 uh, piso, magkano yung magiging uh, future worth mo? Uh, for example, ako, ang insurance ko per year is 60,000 yearly, ano kaya yung magiging equivalent noon na investment amount pag-retire ko ng 60? Ganon. Okay? So, uh, finding P naman, given A, we want to find P ng uh, ano yung present worth natin na given yung ito. Okay? So, ano yung mga example problem? Ano yung kinakailangan mo na uh, uh, annual worth annu annual worth or ano yung kailangan mo na present worth for you to have a uh, uh, diversified annual worth na divisible by n periods okay sige so finding a given f ganun din ano yung annual uh, an uh, ano yung kailangan mong bayaran taon taon for you to have a future worth and finding A given P. Okay. Take note lang ah yung connotation class. Uh, A given P. Yan ang A dash P. So, yan. summary lang ng mga formula and gawin na natin ito. So, dito, example 1. We want to know a woman wishes to have 2 million in her savings plan after working for 25 years. She plans to accomplish this by depositing an equal amount. So from this one, meron na tayong agad idea an equal amount na yan each year daw. So that will be your A. Okay? How much must she have each year if the gig bank gives 5% per year? Dami na natin uh, given dito. So, from the idea alone, kailangan wishes to have 2 million in 25 years. So, that would be finding 
what? And then, tanong tayo ang sulat, mas maganda. So, that will be finding A. Tama ba? Hindi. That will be finding uh, A. Tama, given. So, the A will be unknown. Si F will be 2 million pesos multiplied by the finding A given F. Uh, ilang percent yun? Uh, 5 percent per year for 25 years. 25 siyang, 25 years siyang magtrabaho. So that will be, uh, the formula is finding F given A that will be 2M multiplied by 1 plus point zero five zero point zero five oops raised to twenty five minus one divided by zero point zero okay so let's compute this that will be one point zero five raised to twenty five minus one divided by divided by 0 0.05 2 million parang mali finding mali baliktad sinking fund pala to that will be sorry sorry uh, mali to x pula 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 Ay, mali. Pula daw. Ay, na nga naman. So, that will be 2 million. Sulit ko nga muna yung formula. Finding A given F, that will be I over 1 plus I raised to N number of years minus 1. So, this will be 2M multiplied by 0 0.05 divided by 1.05 is 25 minus 1. So that will be 0 0.05 divided by 0. 0. 0.0. So that will be times 2 xp to the 6. 41,000. So, let's say approximately 42,000. Normal lang, no? Annual uh, payment sa isang PUL fund or isang investment fund. Okay? Per year yan, ha? Annual payment per year. Let's have next problem. Sige, box natin. For, uh, stick to diet. Gold. Okay? Number two. If a certain machine undergoes a major overhaul, its its output it can be increased to an extra 480,000 per year for four years. If the prevailing interest rate is 7%, determine the maximum allowed investment to overhaul the machine. So, given na yun, if we will want to have to draw the cash flow here, meron daw tayong 480,000 for 80K for four years. So, ano daw yung dapat nating uh, investment that will be uh, investment present worth okay, unknown at the rate of 7%. Okay? Ano ba yung cash flow? Okay? Tama naman. So, that will be present 1, 2, 3, 4. One year, two year, three year. Okay? So, the present word, finding P, given A. So, that will be P, uh, given A, that will be finding P, given A at 
Ilang taon yan? 7% in 4 years. So that will be uh, A multiplied by ano mahaba ba to, no? 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 divided by nak ng kama. I 1 plus I raised to N. So yeah, simplify mo na natin yung ano natin. That will be 1.05 sa mali mali. 1.07 raised to 4 minus 1. That will be 0 0.04 multiplied by 1.04 raised to ano to? Okay, so 1.04 raised to 4 muna natin para mabilis. That will be 1.169 Parensya 1.169 yan. Minus 1 divided by uh, 0 0.04 multiplied by 1.04 raised to 4. Okay. 3.16. So itong term na to, equivalent siya kay yung buong dyan ah. Uh, that will be 3.629. Ano si A? Si A is uh, for 80,000 though. So that will be 40,80k pesos multiplied by this. So the present worth, kailangan mong investment will be 480,000. That will be 1.7420. I tends to signify that million pesos. Okay? Yan ang investment. Okay? Finally, number three. Sabi sa inyo, magsasolve lang tayo ngayon. An old man has a total savings of 20 million sana on. That he wishes to distribute sa kanyang mga apo at uh, apo-apuhan at anak-anakan 2, 2 million per year. So that will be all of his savings deposited in a bank that earns 6% effective interest per year. How many years will it take to completely deplete the account? How long will it take the account earns 8% instead of 6%? So, uh, it, meaning meron daw tayong uh, Meron tayong twenty million si Lolo. And he wish to distribute it. Diba? Kailangan mo lang uh, annuity. So let's say ito yung present natin. Nandun na tayo sa age na kung saan naglaan na siya ng ano na tayo sa time period na yun. Nung magdi-distribute na siya ng 2 million ano kasi yung period. Okay? ano yung period. Gano'n katagal si M? Ng 2 million, 2 million. Okay? The interest is 6%. So, kailan siya mauubos? Kailan siya mauubos? Actually, dapat pababa. Pababa yung 2M. Pero, mag-equal mag naman yun. Kaya okay. So, that will be finding A given P ulit. No? Given P. Not, not 20 minutes. Take note, ha? Uh, ano, balik tayo. That will be finding A. Ah, no, no, no. The formula is, pwede natin gamitin is, gaano katagal bago maubos. The present worth is, given A of 2M, A is 2M. Present worth is 20 million. Uubusin natin. So, Ito 
that will be finding even twenty uh, two multiplied by one point zero six. Okay, so find n. Shift solve na lang, no? That will be mode Okay, 20 2, multiplied by Ano ang fraction dito? Yun. 1.06 raised to x minus 1 over at may end point mo. 0 0.06 minus Face to X. Gibson. Fifteen. That will be N is equivalent to fifteen point uh, seven two five. Approximately 15 years. Ubos ang pera nila. Distribute sa mga atin. Okay. So, if you will have any question class, uh, pwede pwede rin ako mag-send ng mga practice problems na for you to read to end start. That will be it. Uh, module 2, Unmuities. Next lesson, Deferred Unmuities. God bless you.